Now that you know what a quota arrangement is, let's consider when you should use it. There are numerous scenarios where using a quota arrangement can add value. For example, perhaps you have a material that is critical to the production process. In that case, perhaps you have more than one source of supply to ensure that you are never in a situation where that material is unavailable. But this is more than just having a backup supplier. In this example, you need to constantly procure the material from both suppliers. Perhaps because your preferred supplier has a maximum capacity that is consistently less than the quantity needed to support production. Another scenario where a quota arrangement is helpful is to support contractual obligations. In other words, you have agreed with a supplier to buy X amount of product over a period of time in order to get a lower cost, but you need to also procure from a second source because there is a long-standing relationship. Or perhaps your organization has decided to outsource the material to an external supplier instead of manufacturing that material in-house, or perhaps vice versa. These types of changes are rarely cut in all at once. In other words, the changeover is gradual. While the change is taking place, you may need to plan to procure some of the goods from an external source while continuing to manufacture a portion in-house. Similar to the last scenario, you may find yourself needing to switch primary suppliers for material for any reason. Perhaps you found better quality or a quicker lead time. At any rate, the changeover from suppliers, again, may be a gradual shift, and the quota arrangement is a great way to manage that shift from one source to another over a period of time.